it's pretty windy out here today but just the same I wanted to test this sound recording device because quite often I'm in a situation where I cannot really um, use or depend upon the sound system of the camera so the, I saw this little device and I was really intrigued in that this little device does not have a name or if it does I don't know what it is I think they now list products by what it does so I don't have a name for the device but on the screen you'll see what it looks like and let's see how small it is and in making videos sometimes you have to go to places where you cannot rely upon the sound system in the camera now it's pretty windy out here today so quite frankly I have no idea what it's going to be like when I go back inside but I do know that I am here and that I'm recording something and my purpose for this little recording is to test this device and I thought since I'm here anyway why not talk about something that I saw in the local neighborhood newsletter it was about a man a young man who didn't know what to do with his life and my temptation was to say join the Navy now join the Navy the biggest fear I think people have of the Navy is that they are going to demand that is the Navy will demand that you take responsibility for your life they will give you anything and everything that you want or you could ever desire but you have to have the three things and it can only come from you you have to have discipline it's a must number two you have to be able to apply yourself to be as good a person as you can be and number three really you have to know in your mind that the sky's the limit the sky's the limit you can go as far as you can except in my case I joined in 1964 I retired in 1985 and racism was still the order of the day back then in the Navy so what happened I didn't make rank in the Navy what happened is they had a locker inspection and during this locker inspection they discovered a book that I was reading now in the Navy I read a lot of books a lot of books because in the Navy you have a lot of time to do that you have a lot of time to educate yourself and not only that but the Navy give you an opportunity to go to many many schools anyway I'm getting away from the subject during the locker inspection they found a book called Soul on Ice Soul on Ice I believe it was written by Elrich Cleaver but anyway it is the only time I ever had a 2-8 in my quarterly marks because I was branded a subversive I was branded a subversive by one of the few racist naval officers and that killed my career it just shut it down so I made E6 and I could go no higher but in spite of that I had a wonderful time in the Navy because there were maybe three or four people that I met that were just overtly racist the rest were people were shipmates shipmates that's a very important word a shipmate because here it is I retired back in 1985 and I still keep in touch with a lot of my shipmates you see the Navy is a fraternity that's what a Navy is the Navy is a fraternity and I can't even see my screen but in this fraternity there's a word called camaraderie and in this fraternity you become friends and in this fraternity you become lifelong friends that's basically what I wanted to tell you